welcome Virgos. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back Virgos. Let's check in and see what is coming out for you Virgos. Okay, so um, this was uh, and this is the monthly readings for September, but it is a um, um, uh, a reading that is timeless. So whenever you pick up this reading, whenever you're asking yourself a question, whenever you want to find out something and you are asking yourself a question, that is a time um, that this reading will um, either come in your feed. Okay, so let's say that the month of September, you're in December, you're trying to figure out something um about a situation that has happened and transpired and i see truths are going to be coming out and if this reading comes up in your um, um feed that is what is going to be transpiring it is not this five week period is um as not a month to make any um career changes no job changes um no decision about anything mm -mm. It is not. It is not. Um, if you notice, there is a lot of conflicts, passion, a lot of conflicts. Your burdens is definitely going to be over as you go in the third week, which is very, very good. It is a month of being kind. Kindness is the key in this month towards people around you, your colleagues, business partner, that sort of a situation, kindness. So they're going to be finding out about a huge um fraud that was created some sort of an inner conflicts um you virgos could have been caught up in a situation okay so what we're looking at is that you're standing your ground so you're standing your ground you're protecting yourself you virgos are really standing your ground and protecting yourself i see that there was some uh, um, deceptiveness that was created um by an aquarian and i see you were caught up in this and your burdens is going to be over. Some sort of a um, communication, this person could have said something that you um, didn't say and that sort of a thing. Some of you Virgos is going to be thinking about uh, releasing yourself from some sort of a colleagues or networking that you were in that has to do with a um, an Aquarian. Um, definitely. Um, some of you... Whoever this Aquarian is, I see you're going to be releasing yourself because you realize that this Aquarian um, have thrown you under the bus. I see you're standing your grounds and you're deciding, I'm turning my back to this Aquarian, whoever this person is, or I'm turning my back to this um, Leo, whoever this person is, because you found out that a Leo and Aquarian have thrown you under the bus. I see you're turning your back and you're... As you let go of these two people, whether they're career, whether they're managers, whether they're co-workers, or whether they're your business partner, as you let go of these two people, because this Leo and this Aquarian has done something deceptive that has brought you in problems. Some of you are going to be finding out about um, people that has been working against you on the work floor. It is a Leo, an Aquarian, and a Aries. Some sort of a news is going to be coming in that is going to be releasing you from these people and what they are thrown in your way. Some sort of unexpected news is going to be coming in and it's going to be bam. People are going to be realizing that um, obstacles was created where these people had created some huge obstacles for you in your way. And I see um, you are going to be um, leaving this um, period um, feeling very good because you're releasing the burdens that was created by a Leo, an Aquarian, and a uh, Aries. So you're going to be moving forward and releasing yourself from these people. Um, I see you're going to be quietly just... Uh, um, pulling yourself away and just moving forward whatever is happening and transpiring you're like okay i see you you are showing up yourselves i am going to be taking my reign back and moving forward and i see you simply not having any conflicts with these people um, just letting these people because you realize these could have been people in your department. These could have been um, co-workers. These could have been 
people who you're partnered up with. You're going to be realizing that they have used you, Virgos, in order to acquire um, some sort of a stability or some um, some of you could have been good with computer. They have used you to connect and get on people um, phones and and that sort of a thing. But whatever they have done, they have um, created some sort of a um, false height. Um, and they're going to be finding out that the Leo and the Aries, along with an Aquarian, has created something to do with either being on someone's internet phone or access and copy some sort of a documentation, whether it's at the work or and was using it um, for their satisfaction. OK, and I see truth is going to be coming out and this whatever is coming where you have to. Um, pick up with us with the extended reading. Whatever is coming in, they're going to be finding out what these people have done because they have created some sort of a... Um, it, 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 it is coming up as computer that they use you in order um, to create something on someone else's, put spyware, something to do with spyware, and it could be by customer's computer and that sort of a thing. And they use you Virgos. And now... Whatever the news is coming in, it could have been that people in higher up, higher levels, have seen what has transpired. And I see this is going to be helping you, Virgos, because I see you, Virgos, could be saying, yeah, but um, I was asked to either access this or I was asked to activate this or I was asked to, and you're going to be giving it up. Some of you are going to be realizing that whoever and however you have connected with these people, that they have been not really positive for your growth. Okay, so these are could be people who you have lunch with or people who, um, you know, that you can have some sort of a, you're going to be realizing these people are not good for my personal growth or my career growth. And I see you are simply taking your time and making a decision to leave them behind. And you're going to be definitely just... Uh, um, taking your time, making your, um, making, um, decision to move forward, leaving these people behind. And I see that this is going to be better, much better for you guys. However, this is transpiring. Then I see some sort of a information and some sort of a information, and they're going to be finding out, um, something about a Leo and a Aries and what these Leo and Aries has done to create some sort of obstacles in the way of you Virgos. And you're going to be finding out what they have done. Some sort of a conflicts. Um, you are going to be having some sort of a conflicts coming at you and you're going to be standing your grounds and said, nope, I don't need this in my life. Remove, don't even get me involved. Um, you're going to be making it clear to people that back away. Um, you have played your game and now I no longer want to be a part of this association of this group or corporation um, because these people have um, hold you back and block your financial flow because when you're connecting with negative people, that's all they bring to you is negativity. So your luck can't flow and you're going to be finding this out for yourself, Virgos. And you're going to be getting the message at the second week and the third week you're moving in where these people, these situations, whatever what was going on with them, you're standing your ground and you're taking back your powers. These problems is going to be resolved because you're going to say, no, I'm not working. I'm not doing this anymore. And I see you're going to be really saying, listen, um, no, it's not happening. Um, they have used some of you to put some sort of a spyware on someone's computer by misinforming you and you realize the truth what has transpired. So you're going to be ending this in this third week period. A lot of you are going to be speaking up about a Sagittarian that a Sagittarius and, uh, and misinform you and, and, and um, give you some sort of information that lead you to the wrong part. And you're going to be realizing this and just um, regaining balance and consciousness. Then we look at the fourth week, which is a week where you find inner peace. Inner peace to understand and know that uh, I have made some sort of a decision that was not good. 
but yet still I am I'm learning from my mistakes. No one is perfect. And that is just so beautiful for you Virgos in the fourth week is because you Virgos are really realizing that, yes, I've made some sort of a um, decision and I've created some sort of a, because I made a decision, I create some sort of a, um, um, issues, some sort of a things. And now you're realizing, um, okay, so I had to learn. Maybe that was a karmatic thing for me. And I had to learn and okay, I have inner peace now that I um, can face myself because I haven't been facing myself in the mirror and really understanding who I am. And this is going to be true. Um, then I see that as you get to the fifth week, I see that a lot of you need to um, really be careful when you're moving forward, okay? And when I'm saying that is that uh, you could take down a Sagittarian, um, but this person, and this is why I always said, check out the extended of this reading, okay? Because this is a young channel, so we can't um, have a lot. So check out the extended reading, and this is why I do extended, because first we have to look at the people, the situation, and the issue. Now, Whoever the Sagittarian is that some of you have spoken up against and took down, be careful. But they're coming with a little thing, but you're turning around. Because if you notice um, this energy, you're turning around in order to see what this person, because they, they got, they got, they got picked up. Whoever the Sagittarian is, they got picked up, okay? And, or, whoever this person is basically, because this is a general reading. And they got picked up. They they were being watched for quite some time. And you both were being watched because they see that you were the one that this person had asked to do something. And I see that you're clearing your conscience now. This is a card of clearing your conscience. Okay, this is the four of cups. You have cleared your conscience of this situation because you realize that you were misinformed in the first place. Okay, and now this is why you're coming into the spirit, just standing your ground and 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 saying, "Listen, you misinform me. I have been um, misinformed in doing something." And now I'm I'm speaking up and I'm letting this go and you're moving forward. But, you know, you are protecting yourself because you're realizing that um, you just throw a big fish underneath the sea, underneath the ground. You you took this, this fish out of the water and you leave it on the ground. And, you know, you're realizing I'm watching my back. You know, you're watching your back. You're, you're opening up yourself and watching your back and realize that this person, and that's why you're going to be using kindness in order to take down this person, whoever this person is. You're going to be using kindness. I see you're not going um, like a whale, like a shark. You're using kindness because you're, you, you're just, you know, showing this person, listen, um, what you have brought me in and how you have created a whole lot of issues in my work life and a whole lot of issues for me, your present has not created any positive growth for me. And I am, you know, releasing myself from this because you're standing your ground here, um, standing your ground and saying, hey, I got to make changes for myself. And you are choosing for yourself, Virgos. You are saying, you know, it was nice and good with everyone. But since the COVID, people change. So you realize that what you did in the past, you are changing yourself because you realize that false information, the conflicts that was created in your world, you were losing yourself with negative people, negative situation, and not focusing on creating your wealth. Okay, so it could be social media. Some of you have your business, a lot of things about social media you're getting. You're going to be just like stepping back and said, you know, it's good. Um, I've seen it. All right, so I'm going to be focusing on what I'm here to do and not listening 
to the what other people wants to throw down my throat. I have my own idea. So whether it's at a work floor, you're going to be just dismissing yourself from some sort of association in order to be able to look at yourself in the mirror as you come in the fourth week. As you move out in the fifth week, I see you're moving forward, but you're kind of watching your back. And the thing about it is that uh, you know that people have some sort of a secrets that can attack you in whatever way. And you're like, okay, so I got uh, got myself out of that uh, and I am uh, leaving uh, this situation behind me. But yet still, I'm not totally um, for, uh, covering myself because I know that they're going to be coming back with a hit. So you're on top of your game moving forward. Kindness is what this um, period is about because you find out that people have been just wasting your time and you're kindly moving yourself away from this group and these colleagues because it's not putting any money in your pocket. It's just get, get, bringing in negative energies for you. Virgos, I gotta go, but there's an extended deal to this reading. Go check it out. Um, always all the three readings, because with all the three readings, it gives you a sense of what to expect in the next three months. I gotta go. This is a five week period. Um, please like and share these videos. I gotta go. Namaste.